No, that box is going to be easy to do. It's just all lined. Them? Yeah. They're good. They're only on a fine hook. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but the little prop spin, if you you just got to keep it, like, keep, give it a yeah, gap. Yeah, keep your plastic back a yeah. bit. Yeah. That'd be good with something like a, um, just a, um, slider or anything. Yep. Basic. Yeah, they were really popular when I first got them in. I think people would just forget. So this will be half. I got half of this wall will be Z-Man, plus another wall. Plus I got all the squidgy. It's pretty well loaded up. Got all the squid. They look so cool, don't they? Do I put the other chase baits on the wall? We need new batteries. We've got to stack more beetle spins. That'll get us through Chrissy. We've still got a heap of the squidgies. That, I noticed all the small squidgies have been getting really good results, but no one's coming back with the bigger ones. But no one's been buying them. So you, you like wait till they kick off. Um, Z-Man frogs. We got the crawls over there. We've, we've got all the minnows, four inch, three inch, boom bait, stick baits. And the rest of the squidgies and all the gulps are down the back. Now all we got left to do to put out now is all our hooks. Oh yeah, we got these Akuma reels in too. Super cheap, great Christmas present. That's it, everything's out. I think. There's some good presents here too, like even quality knife sharpener. Um, put all the flashlights out. What are these? Oh, these have got to go on the wall yet these guys yeah even stuff like that boat combo tools set torches knife sharpeners there's a bit of uh, trick bits bling stuff put some eyes in that on lures good Christmas presents topped up on the entices we've just got a mixed bag of rubbers everywhere here stack of the plazos we still got more plazos coming Josh we got um, there's one order I'm waiting for, and that's to complete the vibes. I've just got to do all the small atomic vibes. I'm loving that chunk of vibes there, soft vibes. I love that. That's uh, we got sizes to suit everything. We're probably a bit low on these. This spot, we're gonna get a few more of them. That's it. We're ready to roll. We've got a stack of good rods. What come in rods today? Is it just that white Therese? Yeah, so we'll load it up. So have, you, have you seen these? Yeah, I picked one up yesterday. So I felt it when Pete was here. 120 bucks. Uh, yeah. I love them. They're casting rods. They're, um, it's a beautiful, like, they're like the mojo. That, and I've got, I've also got some more of these Abus coming in. I was just so impressed with them. Unreal. The, the Abu right villain. The What's that? Villains. The villain. Yeah, I think so. For two hundred and fifty dollars retail, they're they're just a really nice rod. Okay, got plenty of flugers. Stack of Shimano gear. We've still got a stack of dial gear. We've still got all the dial dial blacks as well. And we also got a lot of really good surf gear too. We've still got these guys as well. These are why aren't they so? They're beautiful. But we got some really nice surf rods, so hopefully we'll move a few of them this this week now we got some really nice filleting knives there's only a few out on display but the, that one there's uh, $46 um, solid bone handle leather pouch butcher's knives we've got a couple of dive knives a uh, diff few different boning knives and things uh, not a great mix but like not a large mix but just a nice mix of things we've got plenty of cheap bait knives the cabinet's full of reels Chockers. When I say chockers, there's still that much in the boxes. That's not funny. Okay, Christmas presents. Smoking Joe's stainless steel portable smoker. Some really nice Samaki shirts. These have just got big, big flathead on them. What else? Good Christmas present, Joshy. Oh, we got all our crab traps. We got round traps, square traps in here. We also keep. Floats, marker floats, we keep the, the bait kit, clip, the bait bag and ropes in here as well. Um, we're loaded up on burleys, we're loaded up our bait freezers at full. We've got 
three full freezers now, so these are going to have to be filled up later. But we got pillies, we got Hawkesbury squid, we've got the the, uh, the luck. Uh, what do you call it? The California squid, I don't know what it's called. Uh, white bait chicken gut and our Hawkesbury prawns. Stacks of that. Oh, and worms. We got a heap of worms, Josh. So let people know. We got. Why not test the lure? Oh, gotta get it. Oh. Yeah, fast retreat too. Yeah, that's a seven footer. It's gonna spear it like a bullet. 100%. Oh, yeah, that's normal. Well, it's just so happens I broke the tip on this rod today. <laughs> um. Yeah, oh, this is this is a spear because the first plastic I ever used, right, was this thing called a leech. Yeah. And I could never really catch fish on it. It was, what the guys used to catch fish on it was a big flathead lure. Used to catch a really big flathead. Mm, yeah. So I imagine it work on Jew too. But that's a, that's a, like a rip off of it. It used yeah. to be just, just that. Yeah. yeah. And, and it had the wavies. So look. <laughs> there you go. And my cousin makes that in Port Macquarie. And he said, what do you think? And I told him, they suck. <laughs> Wait till he finds out someone's just sold 10,000 packets of these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, this is actually, this is why I got the camera on. I'm thinking, well, we got to work out some hook rigs for it. I actually, I actually thought, with the live squid, when it comes to brim, they always bite the head. I was so thinking, I'm thinking of a worm hook stinger. I'll show you. Yeah, I'll go grab it. that's what I'm thinking. Take all that well, color's that. gone. Yep. Come on, man. Unbelievable. So that's too big. So look at that. We could just, for starters, we might need this thing. Uh, now what I did now is I give it a little swim on the, just down the creek just to see what it looks like and it rolls. We need to keel it somehow. I think. Think the uh, weight on the bottom? It's got to be weighted somewhere, yeah. And maybe put a gun, 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 gun the hook. It's got a quite a thick body. I was thinking about a wide gap worm hook, to tell you the truth. But look at that, it sits in there like that. Oh, yeah, it's not it's gonna bad. Grab. It'll grab. I was going to grab for sure. I'll just grab that colour. Of what, most of them are naturals, but this thing is the camera will suit. Yeah. But with the flat tail, um, you know, we do that real sharp rip rip yep, yep. down the part. This should work a treat. 100%. This thing, this thing I think, is going to be a fun look. You know what? I you ran out of leader. No, I snapped the line. I had a big snap back. Oh. And um, snap the tip off, my fault. So I just oh, yeah. tied the thing on. That's what you do with But um, I threw this, it's like a whopper plopper frog. Oh, yeah. I love it. And I threw it over everything. And Did the, you put the stinger on? No, the stinger comes with it, but the stinger itself, see how it's circular it is? Mm. Yeah, it points down. Points down. So yeah. it just didn't catch anything. Yeah. And the wire rig, I was, I was thinking at first I'd be taking that off, but not now. It's 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 exactly the bait you want to pull out when they're coming up and short striking. Mm. Yeah. Like a lot. big bass. I think I think you're really good. It's going to look good on top of the water. But we we I was I ran into Timmy um, Timothy Woodley. He pulled up right behind me, and uh, he's really big. He's been getting some good results with swim baits. And I walked down with him. I ran this, and I drew about four little bass like that. And, and that's all that was there. Like they were just tiny ones yeah. and they, they come up. I threw it through everything. So I know, I was nearly gonna go this afternoon when we knock off down to Red Bank because the tide's working up. Yep. And I know they're all stacking up around these little creeks. So I was gonna try that, but I didn't. So anyway, the ba anyway back to this. Look, here. Oh, yeah. Straight up. Yeah, so if we go, we pretty well got the, I think this will be the rig. I don't know, and then, then I'll have to work out on weights. I might just run a ball sinker to get it. Because I'm adamant, if, if you're gonna just want to catch fish, put a got prawn on, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Um, if you want to catch them in a certain way, like I, I'm sure this is designed just for the fall, mm. you know? So we we got to get it weighted right. Oh, 
the stinger here is more to double whammy. What the idea is, is there's a body bite in this with a straight shank. And then you got the, you got the, yeah. the finesse bite on the, the short strike bite on top with it. Well, and if they head bite, yeah, like a brim or something comes in, yeah, like a flathead will just take the whole thing. But if a brim comes in, so that might be a bit with the wrong size still. Oh, maybe we're not. Look, if I go right in here. Just pin it like that. Yeah, right for the head. Yeah, just on the top. Because if a brim bites, it's going to bite in. So we can leave that. Like, so now it's still weedless. Yeah. Well, but if it, if it brim bites, he's going to go bang straight on that point. Yeah. Bang. Yeah. And it, if if anything else bites, see how it's bang. yeah straight at up. that angle. Oh, I think it's, that's killing me. Mm. So there he is. Hmm. <laughs> My cousin's little. Yeah, my cousin Doc. We call him Doc because uh, when we were kids he was going to be a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting is that colour sold out. I, I thought this would have been the first colour to go. This is the colour I would have given away as a Christmas present because I mean, well, honestly, you, when would you, I'd use that under ferry, under, at, at a ferry terminal under lights yeah. down Sydney Harbour. And I don't like I don't do much of that, so it's the pink, well just snap a colour. I was gonna say it could be the best colour at all. Oh yeah, I knew the calamari was gonna go. And if you wanna like you're talking about the rubber, um the fault with it. Like if we wanna be straight up here, the fault with it is like it's not really a fault, it's probably room for improvement because this this has been sensational. Mm. Just in a brief time, this lure here is just, and because we're in a drought, the whole river's full of prawns. Mm. So the big bass everywhere in the river. This is this is unreal, but it's that stretchy rubber. This this stuff, a, yeah, you smell it, it's that, it's that silicon arrow dye. It's not yeah. the stretchy rubber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, this is the one fold. I, I would prefer to pay for one lure in a packet with the stretchy rubber than have three. Yeah. Because I think that you're going to have to juice them up anyway. You know, you've got to put your juice on it. Like, yeah, for sure. I, you know that bag of squid ink that Ben reckons I'm mad for having, frozen? <laughs> put it in the jar. Just dip the squid ink in it. Yeah. Try that out. Like, it, that's not going to stop me from using it. It's the one fault I'm... I just think if, if they were... Yeah. If they were that stretchy rubber... Yeah. Oh, be, I have no idea why I'm going to use the stretchy rubber. I, I think cost. I think it just must, there's a lot of plastic there. Yeah. You know, like there's probably a whole packet of Z-Man in one of them, you know, so, like weight-wise. So maybe that's it, but, uh, yeah. Apart from that, I can't fold anything else. It's just, it is the old leech that we used to fish when we were kids. And I, I can never catch a bass wheel, you know, but, but over the years I worked at it, it was just the old, Flathead little big, like if you want to get big, Flathead Freddy used to use them, you know, in the day. So, and he was amazing. He had, uh, this guy used to be young for Flathead Freddy, eh? Yeah. He used to do all the fishing shows, but he was down, I think he was down Malakuta way, but he had, he used to go around and spot the big trophy Flathead lays yeah. and find out where they were. And then he had these fisheries markers or, or floating markers, and he used to put a, float around it like all the no-go zone mm -hmm. stuff he used to run a big rope around like it was mm. all you know allowed in this side of it and then he'd go in and he'd hit them all you know but um yeah he was cunning with his tricks <coughs> well these I think this is all your stocking fellas yeah and we got i've just only got a few of these frogs to to put on trial them out there's some really good colors in the frogs have you seen the darker greens yeah Awesome, yeah, I've, I've got another batch of uh, soft shell. We stack right up on the beetle spins, but I'm just thinking there's like bag fillers for Christmas. All this stuff. This is just look cool in the bag. We but we've stocked fully up with the Z-Man range. We got the new um, Ned rigs, but we got these trick shots, full range of squidgies. So they're all sold out too. So we already sold out all the brown ones. Wow. Yeah, I'll do. I'll just get the red dye and dip them all. Yep, chartreuse dye too. 
Let's show our true style on any of these. It's gonna work a treat. Uh, full stock of Z-Man, what else? G'day mate. G'day. Oh, what are we gonna do with all those hooks? Sure. That's, a, is that the three? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. with the knobby handle. Um, they're doing a, they did a deal, so we've, we've got about five of them now, for 250 bucks each. Actually, we've got four, so I'm putting one on mine. I'm gonna <laughs> put the other three on mine.